I've known Joe DeShams all of my life. His grandsons are good friends of mine, and I would go over to visit them at Joe and Alvina's house. They were living there with their mom at their grandparents. There was always a pot of tea on, would sit around the kitchen and eat soup and bannock. Joe would be keeping himself busy, cleaning up the yard. He was always humming. As long as I've known Joe, he has always been humming. Joe spent most of his life hunting and trapping. That was way before my time, but now I'm beginning to learn more about him. When he was 13, Joe started to sneak away from school to hunt and trap with his older brother, Fred. Being on the land was where he wanted to be, where he felt most at home. He would fish, hunt, trap all summer, fall, and winter. In the spring, he would go around to the local farms and get work. Fish, hunt, trap, farm, year after year after year. This was his way of life. Yeah, he used to go quite a bit of fishing, yeah. Sit in this, do his hook. I also like uh, hunting, uh, hunting moose. Trapping, I don't mind trapping, but I never used to mind it. He knew Alvina all of his life. By the 1960s, she was joining him in the bush. Not only was she cooking and helping set up camp, she would join him on the trap lines. One time we were trapping there, uh, once a lot. Yeah. Trap line, I was along with Alvina. A lot of islands there. I told her I had beaver traps across a little point like this, and I had beaver traps across. And uh, I told Alvina, they fire here uh, on the island there, uh, away from me here. So I was taking traps, she started hollering, huh? Started hollering, I wasn't too far. She started hollering at me, wolves, wolves, she said, huh? So I looked where comes uh, two uh, their dogs. Yeah. Joe Kelly used to live at uh, Perry, Perry Lake there, not too far. His dogs uh, they were coming, coming to me, huh? Well, I, I, I shot one there, but I didn't hit him, huh? Yeah. He took off, huh? He tried to teach the youth about being on the land, but he says every time he took them out, they would just run around the bush like they didn't care to learn. I think this was disappointing to him, that the younger generation wasn't interested in his passion, his traditional way of life. Old Joe no longer goes out on the land, but if he could, I know he would. Thank mm -hmm. you.